Hi fellow birdies. birdies and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video we're going to be reviewing a couple of dessert pizzas that I found when I was at Walmart. Now these have actually been out for a while. I've seen a few other people review them but I wanted to do it myself for a while and I just finally got around to getting them. We're going to be doing this one and also one he's got. We got two different kinds and we're going to try out and see how we like them. So let's get started. So the first one we're going to try is by Screaming Sicilian. Now they're known to make really, really good pizzas. It's a good pizza brand. It's cookie brownie dessert pizza. It's got cookie dough bites, brownie bites, cream cheese sauce, and artesian crust. Caramel sauce is on top of it. So it'll be this one. This is what it looks like. Not the prettiest, but it looks good. So let's see how it tastes though. Let's try it. Mmm. The crust is kind of a bit on the thin side. It's not flaky per se. The cookie and uh, brownie bites taste really good. Like the brownie bites, there's a good amount of chocolate. Yeah, I do taste a little bit of cream cheese. Caramel sauce is on point. It's kind of like a taste of cookie dough bits though. What do you think? Maybe just the slice of ham and I'll try another one small. But so far, it mostly tastes like sugar. I'm not really getting much of the individual flavors. I'm getting some individual flavors a little bit, but it's kind of like sometimes mostly all mixed together. I mean, you got the brownie bites right there. And I will tell you kind of how to rearrange the pizza a little bit. The cookie dough bites and the brownie bites weren't evenly distributed. So I want to make sure we got a you know a good fair comparison um, to what it might actually be like. But the cream cheese base, it's decent. Not the brownie bites are a bit chocolatey. Might be a little bit more chocolatey. It was me. I like chocolate. But I'm not really getting much of the cookie dough bits. It's not bad. I'll leave it put in front of me. But this isn't live up to where I was envisioning. It just needs more flavor. There's not enough there. I'd probably give this one like a six and a half. It's not bad, but I don't think I'd probably go off my way to eat it. Like there's more cookie dough pieces. Yeah. There's cookie dough in this? I couldn't find any. Cookie dough bits. Bites. Supposed to be. Not finding them yet. Hopefully that might be it right there. They kind of like, you know, when you bake cookies, they kind of like, you know, spread out. And kind of spread out on your pizza. I will say the caramel sauce has a nice sweetness to it. I'm still giving it a decent, like not a terrible rating, but a decently low one. I'm say probably a six. I'm do five and a half. Compared to the ice cream that we gave like five, like six and a halfs to, mm -hmm. this seems like a downgrade. I think I'm trying to remember which flavor it was. It was the orange chocolate chip. We did a Van Leeuwen ice cream review, and that one was not very good. This was this one's in below that. At least for you. For me, yeah, it might be. I might write it down to a six too, honestly. Well, I agree with you. Now more I'm thinking about it. I'd rather be eating one of those sugar cookie crust pizzas. It's like you take a sugar cookie crust, you put cream cheese on it and fruit. Kind of like a, so you get a fruit pizza. I don't know if you've ever had those before, but they serve them at parties and stuff sometimes and they're not bad. So I, I definitely prefer that over that. Next one we're gonna try is called Cinnamon Apple Drizzle Dessert Pizza. Diced gala apples with cinnamon sugar sauce atop, cinnamon infused Pizza crust, vanilla icings included. So we can try that and see what you like it. And this one actually looks better. Like, look at all the apples and, and caramel on that. Or supposed to be vanilla. Let's like. see how it tastes. Oh yeah, this one's better. It reminds me of an apple pie. <laughs> right off the bat. The crust is a little bit flaky. Like right in here, next to me. Give me those toasted strudels. It's kind of like one of those toasted strudels. I don't know if they have apple kind of, maybe they do, but like it's like one of those toaster strudels. You put the frosty on it and stuff like that. It's like an apple pie and pizza form. Wait, that's reminding me. This is really good. Indeed. I actually like this one. Here's the big difference between the other one felt like I was just eating like sugar. You know, mm -hmm. there was the flavor was very barely there. This I can taste the, you know, individual like you know, apple chunks. I can taste the, you know, mm -hmm. not sure that brown stuff is. Brown sugar? For me, I mean, I definitely taste. The apples, um, when I bite into them, of course, the apples are a little bit soft. They're not crunchy, of course, when you break up. The caramel, the vanilla is, is individually there as well. I like the taste of the crust. It just, it, like I said, steady. it feels like an apple pie. It is just exactly the way to taste because you got you know, the crust, apples, and sauce and stuff. It's like a sweet apple pie, and I love apple pies. It's definitely more pizza than apple pie, in my opinion, but it's still good. It's really good. Does it remind you of a toaster strudel at all? To be fair, I tend to eat stuff cold, so it's <laughs> kind of like a bad comparison. Well, I like toaster strudels more than, than Pop-Tarts. This is dang good. 
I would definitely recommend this one over the other one because it's got good individual flavors that shine out mm -hmm. and it's just all around delicious. It's not overly sweet. Like it's just the right amount of sweet. So this one's getting like a, an eight for me. It's good. I'd say seven and a half, eight for me. Yeah. It's about the same. Well, it's not quite up to, you know, you know, eight and a half standards, but it's pretty good. Would definitely eat this. Again. Maybe if the crust were a little bit different, maybe it would be higher. Regular pizza, artesian pizza crust, stone fired, whatever. You know, it feels well with well, those flavors of pizza, but I feel like maybe if like, it had a sugar cookie crust, maybe, maybe it would do better if it added up. It's definitely not a bad take or a bad try on it, so mm -hmm. if you guys want a dessert pizza, get this one. Totally recommend it. Plus, every you know, purchase goat donates a dollar to make a wish, which mm -hmm. definitely helps. Yeah. Only thing that might improve, I think, is they upped the caramel anus. Car caramel anus. Yeah, because I felt, like I was saying, I feel like it could use a little bit more. Like, there is quite a bit there, but sometimes things could use a little bit more to make it better. Yeah, like, I'm fine with the crust. It's, you know, nice and you know, easy to you know, take a bite out of. You know, soft. Without being, like, you know, too soft. It does what pizza crust is meant to do. Unless it's, like, the amazing you know, stuffed crust. But I guess that wouldn't work here. I mean, who really wants cheese stuffed crepes on a pizza on a dessert? One thing I do remember is that when Screamer Sicilian came out with the dessert pizzas, they actually had a s'mores flavored one as well. But I couldn't find that at Walmart. I could just find these two. So that's why I grabbed it. Imagine what the s'mores one would have tasted like. I actually was like watching a lot of reviews of that and they didn't like it. They actually liked that one better, surprisingly. Maybe if we find it one of these days, we'll try it. I'd kind of like an Oreo cream pizza. That would be good. You know, one half like the Oreo cookie but without the like pop. You just have the, you know, cream filling. I've actually seen people make Oreo pizzas. Do that it's video. all over Instagram. So your dream might come true. I just have to make it true by cooking it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today's taste test. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any more recommendations for products, leave them mm -hmm. below and we'll see if we can get our hands on and try them out. Also, don't forget to click the red button down below to subscribe and hit the bell to see notifications. And we'll see you folks in the next video. This is Crystal. <laughs> and Charles. Sonia. Bye, Bye. <laughs>